If you've ever gone through a stressful life event or something stressful in your life, and then you felt like your hair fell out, you might not be wrong. This is actually a real thing. And I'm here to tell you first and foremost, that stress can make your hair fall out. Let me explain. By the way, guys, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you. We're talking about a topic called telogen effluvium. And this video is to validate any concerns you might have had in the past. If you've gone through a stressful life event, you were sick, something like that, and you lost your hair and you're wondering if it was all in your head, chances are it was not. It was very real. We usually shed about 50 to 100 hairs per day. That's kind of a normal thing. But what can happen is we can get temporary hair loss due to a stressor or change in our body. And that often is considered intelligent effluvian. It can be acute or chronic. We're going to talk about the acute form. And what happens is this stress, and by the way, I'm going to tell you what the stressors are that can do this. The stress actually can literally cause your hair to be pushed prematurely into the resting phase. You know, the hair, uh, there's lots of different sort of hair cycles, and I'm not going to go into all of that stuff, but um, when it's pushed into this sort of prematurely into this resting phase, it can cause your hair to fall out. Now you're wondering, what could this stressor be? Well, by the way, this video is also an encouragement for you to sort of shed the stress in your life. I'm gonna link some videos to this video about how to reduce anxiety, how to reduce stress, uh, meditation, mindfulness. Also some videos on um, when I first had COVID, uh, the very first time I had it, literally like my hair fell out and it was my hairdresser that kind of diagnosed it. Um, so back to what can cause this sort of telogen effluvium or temporary hair loss, uh, illness, okay, high fever, being hospitalized, surgery, childbirth can do it. Going through a major life event such as a divorce, um, you know, something stressful in your life psychological stress, um, other things, thyroid disease can do it, underactive or overactive thyroid. Also like crash diets, like if you lose a ton of weight in a small period of time, that absolutely can be a stressor that your body interprets. And one of the things that could happen is hair loss uh, later on. I'm gonna tell you how long it usually takes for this hair loss to happen. Um, infection, uh, let's see here, da, 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 uh, medications, other things can do it as well. Now usually the hair loss that you experience usually happens about two months after the stressor. Of course everybody's different, okay? So it might be a little different for you. The good thing is, and there is some good news, okay? The good news is that usually there is no treatment for this because oftentimes your hair will start to thicken back up to its normal about six to eight months or so after you've undergone the stressor, okay? Um, and that's assuming that the underlying cause has been resolved or fixed, etc. Again, I'm talking about the acute telogen effluvian condition. Also, I forgot to say that for any sort of hair loss, you wanna make sure you see a board certified dermatologist. Those are the doctors that really help with hair loss. Make sure you keep good people and good situations in your life. Um, being stressed out is not worth it. Peace. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Carl. Uh, please follow my uh, channel on Facebook. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, WhatsApp. Please go to my website, drjencarl.com to sign up for my free health newsletter. All right, bye.